up a little bit. A little more. Little more. Yeah, that's good. All right. The tweaks. All right. Now, if you recall, which you may or may not recall, several weeks ago I did a volcano, but I felt like it looked too bloody. <laughs> So I wanted to show you the update and um, what happened. Oh, I had uh, uh, an interesting time with this. I, I tried putting smoke here and went, oh, my goodness, that's too much. So I wiped it off. And when I wiped it off, it left just enough behind to look like smoke. Really happy with that. Look at this very lively lava coming down the mountain with some smoke. Much more realistic, realistic uh, chiroplastic blow and smoke. Very good. A little side lava coming down this way. Yeah. Got it. So I'm going to put this on the on the giveaway list as far as we'll make a we'll make a print of this. It can be. A or it could be the, the it could be the grand prize. Yeah. Well, it could just be a giveaway. And let somebody who wants to enter for it. Okay. Yeah, because we have uh, an, another give it a good giveaway coming up, too. So, luckily, I'm a good painter because my wife's got all these giveaways planned. <laughs> Hi, and, Cynthia. And we want to do something. Hey, Cynthia. How's the oxygen? Less and less. So, I wanted you all to see that to let you know everything was good with that. And it's ready to go. All right. So, wouldn't you know, my fresh piece of canvas had a few dots on it that snuck through the plastic coating I had on there. Ah, oh, well, no big deal. So, we're just going to put on a little bit of that white, a little bit of that black up, back up white. And um, see what imagination does for us today. Yeah. See what imagination does. I have a, a paintbrush that I use to spread this white. And all it did was shed bristles all over the place. I had to go to the sink and rinse everything off just to get back to a good start. My, oh, my, oh, my. So there you have it. Whew. So, yeah, I bought um, the gesso now. I have the gesso primer now instead of just latex wall paint that I've been using as a primer. I now am official. I'm official. I have gesso. Oh, everybody come. Like, oh, got to have gesso. Got to have gesso. I don't even know who gesso is, but it was on sale. Because the bottle got opened up in the store. So they taped it and put a sale price on it, and I got a good price. All right. Well, what was it? No, oh, Christine already, uh, uh, she, Cynthia already got her dolphins and her sea thing. And uh, I think, yeah, the dock one, that's a secret. And that one's done, so I don't really have a... Oh, yeah. Do you remember last week? Let's show you last week. <clears throat> so last week, I continued painting after we finished the mountains and saw these little trees back in here happen. So I put in these trees and a little stream across here. And uh, so pretty cool. There's last week's. Ooh, anybody else out there? Hi, Missy's channel. Okay. Well, let's get busy. What shall we do? Shall we do skies? Shall we do sky and ocean? Why, for sure, we need titanium white, don't we? Yes, we do. Unlike a lot of the people on TV that have all their colors out and ready to go, I don't. I never know exactly what I'm going to do. Sometimes I start working one thing and another thing comes up. 
uh, or, or I can say, oh, you know, I look for what the canvas wants to give me as well. You know, there is a there is a point where you have to let the canvas tell you what's going on. And uh, so I like doing that. I think that's a lot of fun. Oh, turquoise. Turquoise. Let's see. We'll probably need some brown for the sand on the floor, but all right. So are we above water? Are we below water? Are we going to do a sunken ship or a so boat? Said a bottom? meadow with a lake. A meadow and a lake. All righty. Let's do a meadow and a lake. Mm -hmm. Bushland. I saw this the other day. Bushland a peck. Bushland a peck. Bushland a peck. And a hunger around the neck. Hug around the neck. Boy, I hadn't heard that since my mom told me that one when I was little. I'm making sure the brushes don't have any oil or anything on them. Switching back and forth as I do. Okay. I think I want this one. A meadow and a lake. All right. So we're going to start up high with the sky. Right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. These canvases are too short, aren't they? Wouldn't you know I'd buy an easel that didn't have a canvas that would reach to the top. <laughs> okay. We're going to do some more light blue. Now, Oh, I like that one. What's that one called? Pool blue. P-O-O-L. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like the pool. Okay. Now, in the distance, sun's going down. A little bit of distance. Turquoise, turquoise. Here's another one. You know what I you know who I like is well maybe I'll let's go with the darker blue boom. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just take this dark Where's and your bring it up. Your team Jesus phone. Mm. Did you take it off of uh you know? No, I didn't. I was talking to Don on the phone. Okay, bring a little bit more of that up here. Oh, all right. <coughs> hey, spaceman. We're going to, we have an hour, so I'm going to try to do the hour thing as best I can. And, and prayers for Florida, by the way, everyone there. We used to be the ones that got those calls. People. We are not there anymore. Hmm. Uh, there's one kind of brown. And a second lighter brown. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But you didn't think I could do that, did you? How about that? How about that? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So we are going to do more of a sky blue. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Like this I can see what's happening here I'm starting to see it I'm starting to see something here I'm starting to see something here because right here see it I can see the lake right there it is right there is the lake so I can see that lake now that means We've got to let a little bit of time here and here, because this has got to, um, oh, that was not very nice of you. Did you see that paintbrush just jump right into my paint like that? Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> we're going to, uh, actually, we're going to do this right here. And right there. Oh, yeah. Excellent. All right. So I'm, I'm liking my sky. I think that looks very nice. That's, that's really meeting the expectation that I have. And then we'll build some clouds up there as soon as it, it dries. Boy, that's really nice. I don't know why I'm leaning sideways here. Oh, I need a spot for my foot. There we go. Ah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's our lake. See it? It's going to come in here and widen and go across here with a little bit of an isthmus and some trees in the middle of it, and then it's going to go off that way. I can see it. And, of course, that means we switch. We're, we're done with the sky brush right now. Let's go to a dirt brush. <laughs> All right, dirt. Do we want stiff or smooth? We want... All right, so we're going to work with the lighter one first, and we're going to come across right there. Right there. And we're just going to do a meadow, and the, the meadow, and the no, no mountain peaks. I love mountain peaks and clouds, and I'm not that good at grass, so I'm being brave. I'll tell you, once you get good at something, you like to stick with it. And so I'm not that good with making grassy knolls and fields and stuff like that. But I've done it. It accidentally happened. And I'm hoping it happens again. Okay. So, oh, I see what I'm doing. All right. So if we're going to do this, we've got to have just a little bit more of a dark distance here. This is more, we've got to have, see the way that's going to, this is going to push this back a little bit. Yeah, like the, we're a little bit further underneath the clouds and we are looking over towards the horizon there. Oh, see now you can see different layers of clouds now. And yeah, that's what we needed right there. Um, mm hmm and we're going to donate just a little bit, just a little bit of darkness. Yep. Just a little bit more right in there. Now, what that'll do. We're using the oils or the acrylic? This is acrylic tonight. It's acrylic. They were crying, telling me I was avoiding them. I felt bad. But I also found that I, I am not, there's not as much to do with oil as with acrylic. I noticed that once the oil got on there, I was taking the oil off. 
when I was trying to add more. And I was not getting some of the things that I wanted to happen, happen. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? What did that just do? Okay. Oh, see him? See him? Oh, look at that. Ooh, let me turn that a little for you. See that? Look at that. Look what that just did. Look what that just did. Wow. I'm going to put one right there. And that's going to come right across in front of that one. Come right across in front of that one like that. See that? Ooh. See, and then that one. See how that blue's already there waiting for me? I'm not even going to mess with that. That's almost like a shadow of the sky there. Oh, wow. That is really good. So then we're going to push a little bit down up here. And just a little bit up like that. Okay. No big mountains. Just a little bit of a North Carolina skyline. A little bit of a Tennessee skyline. No big peaks or anything. Just... Rolling background, lots of foliage, lots of foliage. Very good. See the layer of clouds right there and there. Boy, is that good. And look, it's getting brighter up here. Isn't that awesome? Just like a, a haze, you know. And when we, we'll put in a, a layer of clouds right in there. Um, so yeah, that's that's doing real good. That's doing real good. Real good. And then we'll we'll bring bring that down a little bit. Right in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I like that. I like that. Very grayish. Okay, there's my. Oh, I added, I added black to my sky brush. So my sky brush is now no longer a sky brush. Well, let's go ahead and take some of that black and some brown. And. <coughs> I think we're pretty much dry down here. Yep. All right. So now we're going to come across here. Boy, I really like the way this is This is coming down right there. I can just see that lake coming right down like this. See it? And then it goes right down like this. And then it comes in and, and breaks we didn't do that quite. We have to do that a little bit more like, okay, there we go. Comes in like that. And then here's a little thing right here. That comes out like that. Oh, wow. It almost looks like I know what I'm doing. What is this going to be? This is a meadow and lake. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that out, Gail. Yep. And I have no photographs. I am not looking at any pictures. I am um, strictly just going with what, what um, I'm seeing in my mind. Right in here. And we're going to kick out the blue from the bottom here. Thank you, Cynthia. She shared it with Facebook. Wonderful. Yeah. Our usual share bear is getting ready for a cruise. We're going to take this. Oh, all right. So, kind of interested in more of this. Uh, a little bit of that. 
I'm actually taking black and brown at the same time on my brush. And um, that's what caught, that's what's giving me um, this interesting look. Let's get rid of the rest of that lake. There we go. I don't see anything here, so I'm going to take that out. Look at that lake progress. You know, I can't do this with oil because oil would still be wet. Oils are great, Bob Ross. But, all right, so there we go. Now, i got to dab a little bit more black out. Hmm. What's ready to happen here? I'm ready to do more of this. I, I really like this little plateau here. This plateau is making sense to me. It's like we need to do a little bit more here. And bring this down. Oh, I kind of, oh, I like that. That's interesting. All right, we're going to leave this alone here because this needs to dry now so we can make it green. And I'm, I'm kind of seeing a, a push right here, like pushing down or maybe push in a little bit like that. And bring that up a little bit. And then come across... And give a little bit of a background, a little, add a little bit of, I'll tell you, don't I need an easel that's nailed to a table? <laughs> I am rough. Okay. Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm making the back of the, the back side of the grass that's here. But I just noticed we're not doing the right thing. So what I'm going to do is right here we've got to come off this one so like that all right now we can get into the back and the brown right there and i see some sagebrush like a sagebrush very good, very good. And then this right there and coming up. Honey got his gift card that he won. Oh, yeah. From Andell Homestead for the Fall Fest 22. Yep. And um, okay. I got a gift card. He got his in the mail. I got, I got one on um, through the email. Oh, that I won from Lulu's treasure trove. Donnie has to mail his two paintings out. Yep. Well, the one that came from my channel and his. He's got. He's got one. Um, already. The way he wants it to. He's got to get the mailer to put it in, and then the other one. Do you have to? Fix, fix it on something? Or are you going to roll it up? I don't know. Yeah. Um, you mean the deer? Yeah. The deer one's already mounted, ready no, to go. What about the other one? It was a beach. The other one was a beach. Oh, that's oil. Because Sally won the deer. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Yeah, she asked for the deer. And um, Good Times Homestead won the... Um, she wants the beach. Mm -hmm. The one with the rocks. The happy rocks. Well, she just said beach. Okay. Okay, so we're taking some some white and some brown and some green. And we are looking for a distant 
kind of a thing here. Turn that right down. We shared Gail's That's a good base coat. Southern Living channel. If anybody wants to watch the hmm. live stream for the grand prize giveaway. She will be having it on her channel. She's already posted the link for it. Okay. Um, her live stream. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to put some like some distant trees in. Got to do it just right. Got to do it just right. We're going to come underneath the mountains. Distant mountains. You know, and we'll put some foliage up into there. And up, up that one right there. Cool. Now, when I just did this, this was very level but it just dropped this just dropped like all of a sudden this is like a valley going down here mm, boy look at that green green brown green brown touch of white a little more brown now more brown And we're going to go whoop, too much more brown. Okay, let's see how that does. Is that better? No, nah, that's too bright. Hmm. Well, when you want shadows and shrubbery all at the same time, you mix in, you tap in a little black. You tap in the black. So we'll black. We're going to tap in some black. And uh, then that will give us a background. Yep. Okay, we got... See, that's an inexperienced thing right there on my part, not being able to keep a hold of that same look right there. That's the look I want, you know. But I didn't dab all that paint together right, so I could continue to make more of it, you know. It's like, that's the problem with doing the painting and the mixing as you go. And, uh, but that's all right. So the only way I can kind of fix it is to kind of blend this back that way and that'll do that for me okay I like it I like it a little bit more black a little bit more green a little bit more black I'm doing just the tip of the brush just the tip of the brush this is actually a ruined brush that ended up being my friend. I like this brush. And um, we could do something. See, now if we add a. Oh, I hate to do that. No, I want to do that. I want to do that. So, what I need to do is I need to take a brush, the right brush. And I need to take that green color that I'm working on those trees right now. But I need to add some of the blue to it. Like, what? Why would you add blue and green together? Well, if I add the blue and the green together, I can make a tree that's farther away. So if I... Okay, so I've taken the blue and the green, and let me put them right in here. It's still a little bit light. Maybe a little bit more blue. 
I may not have the right brush yet. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. That's close to real close. That's real close. How about just a touch? One more touch of blue. Hi, Kathy. Hi, One more Carla. touch of blue. All right. I'm so using acrylics tonight. This is blue and green. He was having a hard time getting his oils to dry. So he uh, he decided to just use acrylics tonight because he has nowhere to lay. <laughs> I have no place left to put a painting. <laughs> we are praying for... We need more space. <laughs> yes, our crafty room. <laughs> oh, his crafty studio. Ah, see there. See, I've got I've got nice shadowy trees back here now. See them? That worked. That worked beautiful. Nice shadowy trees. More space. Um, more nice. space. Maybe a mobile he he shed. Kathy yeah, said. <laughs> what? A he shed. Oh, he. I thought it was a she. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about he said, she said? Yeah. <laughs> well, he said, she said. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to highlight that real quick. I like this little light blue right there. So I'm just going to highlight that a little bit. And uh, touch this with just a touch. Touch of the sunset. Touch of the sunset. See these? These are... Um, the distant, distant trees that are a little bluer, a little darker. And, of course, this is acrylic, so it will darken even more as it dries. And, of course, I'll slice right into these other trees. See, I couldn't do this with the oil because the oil wasn't dry. But the acrylic dries so quick, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm real, real happy with that. That's all. That's all looking just. Okay, that's not really the brush I want, though. This um, this brush is like excellent. So now. We're bringing down a meadow, I'm bringing down some grass here on the other side. I'm going to dab in the colors since this, they're already in the brush, but I'm not getting them. Oh, look at that. Look at how that just gives me a, a look of, let me go back this way. Oh, look, watch. I hit that right there and then wow, like that. Oh, wow. Then we'll hit a little bit right there, this lighter color right there, and then we'll come down the, the mountain right there and bring that color right down to the shoreline, right down to the waterline like that. Oh wow! Okay, let's get these other ones. And let's let's go ahead and go the other direction now. Bring that down, and then maybe this is a straight down right here. Then we'll take this one up that way and bring it down. And, uh, you know, I think I'll leave that little dead spot right there. That's for like a contrast, I think. And let's go ahead and put that little bit of color right there. And then bring that up, bring that over. And, yeah, okay, that's, there you go. There you go. Because remember, you got to have drainage. You've got to have these mountains are draining somewhere. So you've got to have a little bit of drainage. You've got to have some place that water is coming from. If you're going to have a lake, where did the water come from that's going into this lake? You know, where, you know, and then I'll turn the brush over here and dab a little bit and see what happens. See if I can get some foliage or something that I like. A little bit of. Well, just a little different contrast over there. I think, oh, I think that's nice. I think that's nice. I'm, I'm still going to have to have some shoreline, though. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take our shoreline around the corner here. But let's, since this goes off in the distance, 
So we're going to take a little bit of that blue and we're going to just kind of fade this green off this way. That's coming up here. And take that off that way like that. And we'll bring that down to the water. Because see right there, there's a valley. See that valley? Right there's a valley. So that means we've got to have some kind of place for the water to come right there. And so there's another one there. And this one over here seems to be pretty solid. We've got a little thing coming out here in the lake. Look at that. A little, little thing shooting down into the lake here. So we've got to, got to extend that a little bit. Oh, that's another valley right there. It's coming from that direction. So what we can do is um, uh, we need to do a um, like a shoreline now. And uh, Mr. Blade is the best one for a shoreline. There's that one and there's that one. So we'll see who works better. It seems like a... All right, so now... Yep. So we're going to do a shoreline. And, 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 of course, it's much easier to do a shoreline with oil than it is with a well, water base, with acrylic, that's for sure. And... Uh, but I am going to use the, um, the brown and the white. I'm going to mix the brown and the white on my bouncy palette. Because it has to be the right... Oh, you know what? You know what helps make a sand look like sand is a little bit of gold. You've got to put just a drip of gold in there. That usually helps get you that sandy look. Because otherwise, without the gold, it kind of looks a lot like um, peach or flesh or even putty. But once you add the, the gold, and of course, um, now I'm going to just try one little spot here. Because I can see that brown right there. I really like that. I mean, it's like, okay, so a little darker. A little darker. Mm -hmm. How much time have I got? How are we doing? 20 minutes. I only have 20 more minutes? Okay. So, we have got to do a heck of a shoreline here in a short time. Shoreline. Okay. Yep, looks like I hit the color. It looks like I hit it. I hit it good. And people say, oh, everybody can do this. Well, you know, that's true. Everybody can do this. But because I have 30 years of painting behind me and 30 years of blending and mixing and dealing with paint, I am able to hit a mix like this. You know, instead of just take a color out of a bottle, I'm actually able to, you know, hit hit a miss like that okay so we built that up a little bit i think we should do something like a little a little rock ledge or something right here and I smoke uh, man. we're just going to do it just a like a, a rock ledge right there maybe something just you know why it was jutting out maybe there's a little island or something uh, some kind of thing right here oh i kind of like that okay let's take up a little bit of the blue and there you go oh i like it all right so now we're gonna take that sandy beach you've all met sandy beach haven't you yeah well we have a subscriber named sandy b so I wonder if she is a beach. 
And we are going to just run this right down to there. Smoky Mountain Man went to um, a, um, a rally, Franklin Graham rally um, near where he lives. The newsboys were with him. It was fantastic. Uh, they went to a private reception with Franklin before the rally. They were sitting in the, the row right in front of Franklin and the stage. Cool. It's always good to have your kids meet great men of God. It gets an anointing on them. And helps them with their calling. A okay. powerful message. Over 1,100 in attendance and more than 200 made decisions for Christ and were saved. Wow. Where'd it go? Now I'm going to take the other blade. This one is a steel blade. Like old Bob reuses. Thanks for hitting the like, everyone. And I'm going to do just a few little things here. Where, you, you know, you're kind of supposed to... Oh, oh that was too much. I, I, I lost that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, and then put that right there. And that right there. And let's come over here. And learn a few lessons here. On the recreation beach right there, maybe. Good. Very good. All right. And... Now I see the water, so we've got to have a little bit of, we've got to, I'm going to use the um, very narrow side of the thing, and uh, I'm going to try to put just a little bit of water coming down right here, right there, because that's, we've got to have something feeding this lake, you know. Go and we could even put a little waterfall there, maybe. That's got to come from up in the woods, like that. And uh, that's not really going the way I wanted it to, so let's see what we can do with that. So I wanted just this one little line, and I ended up with a big smudge. So we're just going to turn that into a, a nice big old running down waterfall. We'll take a, um, a brand new brush, a very soft brand new brush. And oh, that one's too stiff. Soft, soft, soft. Come on, soft. Air soft. All right, so then we take a soft brush and we... Just touch it in the down direction like that. And we've got ourselves a little waterfall right there. Okay, and man said it's very relaxing, relaxing watching you paint. Thank you. And we're going to bring in, um, well, the lake goes off the corner right there pretty nicely. So maybe we won't mess with that. But I can see. That there is definitely a little creek right here coming down this little valley. Coming down right down this little valley. Kind of meandering a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hope you feel better, Spaceman. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Praying for you. Blood of Jesus. Blessing upon you. Hope you get good rest. He gives his beloved sweet sleep. And I'm not real good at this, but I feel like right there would be a place that would just kind of run. Oh, there we go. 
Hi, Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. Hey, Vanilla Gorilla and all of his friends say so long, so long, so long. It's been fun. Yes, sir. Probably don't remember that one. That was um, Megilla Gorilla. Do you remember Megilla Gorilla? Watched him when I was a kid. He said, I sleep like a baby. I stay up and cry all night. The Vanilla Gorilla said that. <laughs> All right. He said he loved the vanilla gorilla. He said, I'm 45, so. <laughs> All right, now we need to just make this lake have a little bit of contrast. It's got to have a little bit of reflection on it right it's in order to to be water and we're going to take our green and we're going to take some Beige and some black and some green. And we're going to, let's see. Actually, we're supposed to do the grass first, aren't we? To have some kind of a... I like that. All right. This is more the rough and the green grass. And I want I want some shrubbery. Want some shrubbery? Bring me a shrubbery. Uh, vanilla gorilla is a. Uh, his name is Jeff, by the way. I love the way the background fades away, he said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's really, really something. I'm just as happy as you are. <laughs> I have no idea. So, like, I just did way too much of that gold there, but what the heck? You know, let's... Let's see what we get. We've only got so much time. So let's see what we get. Okay, and then I noticed this is kind of looking like a plateau here, like a little thing with a, a drop down. Like this is, this is coming down this way. So we'll run that up like that. Since it says looks like fall colors. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. And uh, what we'll do, see, is then we'll push a little brown right there and pull that down. A little brown, a little beige. Thanks for the thumbs up. For the green. And we'll pull that down. Right from there. Oh, you know, this could actually be water right here, huh? We could be running. Okay, let's, um, okay. I got too many brushes in my hand here. <laughs> All right, so we are going to be running a green meadow right here. It's going to come down. It's right here. There it is. And down and over. Down and over. I'm 
waiting to see something. Waiting to see something. How about if we add a little bit of bounce to the top of that? Oh, there it is. Okay, now that just leveled out right there. Thank you. And then um, it came down like Jeff, this. The Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla, like and mm -hmm. share. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm. And a little bit of this. And then we'll take that down. We're hey. going to leave that little rock outcropping right there. That's good. I'm going to be doing um, two collabs. But the first one is going to be starting real quick. So you can uh, prepare for it if you want to be involved in it. It's going to be called um, Pumpkin Spice. Um, and so it'll be, go. it'll be hashtag Pumpkin Spice 22 if you want to prepare a video for it. Okay. It's, um, it's going to be anything with um, pumpkins or fall. Um, it could be fall decorations. It could be fall colors. It could be fall um, uh, desserts. Um, you could bake something. You, if you're crafty, you could make something. It could be made with because my favorite holiday is Christmas, but my favorite season is fall. So it's going to be called. Um, Pumpkin. Yeah, it's not right. Okay. Pumpkin Spice 22. Okay, so that's going to be the hashtag. Pumpkin, Pumpkin spice, spice Twice as Nice. 22. And so I thought it uh, it has to be family friendly. That's the thing. Nothing spooky. It's not about Halloween. Um, it's not a Halloween thing. So if you're going to come up with a video, and you can come up with more than one video, I'm going to put them in a playlist. And it's um, the only one that will give away a prize um, will be Donnie and I at the end. If somebody wants to give away a prize, they can, but um, it's not a... Um, that kind of a collab. It's not that kind of a collab. This particular one isn't isn't a, a collab where those that are in it have to give away a prize. You can join this uh, uh, because I, I found out that sometimes out. people don't join a collab because their money's tight, so they can't join a collab. So this collab is open for anybody that wants to share something family friendly because oh, we have young viewers so i want it to be family friendly so there we go anything if you Ooh. have and like i said you can put more than one video out and hashtag it pumpkin spice 22 and then email um email your video to Schnauzer Hauser. I'm spelling it right. At Emerson.com. S C H N A U Z E R H N U Z E R at Emerson.com. Okay. So you eat you hashtag your video. Um, pumpkin spice 22, and then you put and you email schnauzerhauser at msn.com. Uh, you email it to me, and then I can take your video and put it in my playlist. Um, as soon as I start making my playlist uh, public, um, and like I said, you can make more than one video. Um, I think a lot of viewers enjoy the fall. So this is a way for 
people to be able to come over to different channels and see things that even I thought of, even if somebody is a viewer and they're not even, they don't even post anything uh, on YouTube at all. But if they want to uh, be involved as far as like uh, share their photos, if they have photos that they want to share, they can email their photos to schnauzerhauser at msn.com as well. And, um, and I'll just put the photos on like a, a little slideshow and post that out. So, and, and this is going to go on for until Thanksgiving. So there's plenty of time. If you, if you go out like in a week and see something uh, fall, like I said, it can be, it can be a taste test. You can be taste testing pumpkin desserts or apple pies or apple treats Hot or chocolate. you can go to some cider you can go to an apple festival you whatever it is you know i'll just keep sharing in the playlist the fall things because i just think people enjoy them and if there's somebody in your area that you know might see the video and realize oh that's in my area you know i want to go there or they see something it's like oh i want to try that or you see some beautiful fall decorations that you want to share out and you you do a little little video of it and it doesn't have to be a long video it could be a short video you know it could be a slideshow of photos and you just put the photos together and put copyright free music or something in the background um and so share it out it's just that i just think some people would enjoy fall things like that and like i said nobody is obligated to um have to give anything away and so that opens it up for even small channels that don't have the ability to do anything um hey hillbilly chicken ranch how are you I was busy talking. <laughs> so it can be somebody that bakes. It can be somebody that crafts. It can be somebody that goes out and sees nice decorations that they want to share or something, or they want to try something, a fall dessert. You can even go out. Um, if you go to a restaurant and have a dinner and they have a special fall food, for dessert, then videotape yourself taste testing it or something, you know, um, you can do that kind of thing of the, like, you know, you can just share the, the fall dessert or whatever. And then I can include that in the, the thing. So um, family friendly, Jeff, family friendly. So I'm not, I'm not going to, here's a little thing about me. I personally don't, Donnie and I personally don't drink. He used to be an alcoholic and I am Asperger's. And so um, it's a danger to ask people uh, to be around alcohol. They are the most endangered people, according to the Asperger's doctors. Uh, and so I just don't share that. I don't share that kind of content out on my channel. And, you know, not that I'm judging somebody for it. It's just, it's just one of those protection things for that I do for myself. Yeah, little did and, I know. children. <laughs> I was being prepared to be married to you. Yep. All right. Yep, we are the right people for each other. We are the right people. Somehow, God got us married to the right people. We tried before. Didn't do it. So we let God do it. And even though I questioned him a bit, <laughs> I 
I didn't question as much as she did. Yeah. I mean, we have relatives that uh, do partake in adult yeah. beverages, and we don't judge them. Yep. Or anything, it doesn't bother I, us at all. But I was telling, I was telling um, another YouTuber friend the other day, um, I've had people... I've had people take advantage of me because they did use adult things against me. So it's just one of the things that I stay away from. <laughs> Jeff said, Tammy and I feel the same way. Perfect for each other. Yep. The hillbilly uh, chicken ranch said she loves the backdrop of your painting, Donnie. Thank you. Don't you love those way that, that this is just, oh, so cool. And, you know, I hardly even try to do that. I basically, you know, I'm just lucky. <laughs> you know, just, just lucky. And I'm, I can, I'm disappointed if I'm there. Yeah. It's really something. But that's what was suggested that I do a. Uh, I think so. What I'm trying to do is. Uh, Cindy said, no, not this, uh, new beginnings with Booty and Cindy. Um, we met them for lunch the other day. Yeah. And um, she said, no, it's not luck. It's a gift, Donnie. <laughs> it's a gift. We enjoyed meet, meeting you for lunch. Thank you so much for taking the time to um, to have lunch with us. Yeah, be willing to be seen with us. <laughs> um, did you did you go back home? They came down here. They came here for to the Smoky Mountains, and they were going to that um, quartet. Uh, convention. Yeah. Wow. What time is it? How are we doing? Yeah, you. Um, are we about out of time? So I've got a waterfall can, here. How much more do you need to? Well, what time is it? I've got a waterfall right here, and I'm trying to put a little bit more motion to it and uh, uh, a little bit more lift and it's not easy it's giving me a hard time let's see oh we we too enjoyed our lunch booty mentioned how much he enjoyed his Christian conversations with you guys. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Yeah, you don't always get to talk about God with everyone, but we did it with them. And, the, and, uh, and their link is in the chat. If somebody wants to connect with them, New Beginnings with Booty and Cindy. We came home on Monday, but have decided we so enjoyed the opening of the quartet convention that we might see other dates um, that are available. Not to put any pressure on you, but what about the beats? Oh, he, Donnie was wondering if you had gotten the beat, the beat powder supplements. Um, He's been recommending bee powder supplements to a lot of different people. <laughs> the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch said, I may pull out my canvas this weekend. Donnie, you are inspiring me. Oh, boy. Hey, if you do a fall scene or something with pumpkins in it or something like that, you can always enter the, uh, you can do a video and enter it into the pumpkin spice um 
22 collab. 22 skidoo. Pumpkin Spice 22 is the collab. And then It's interesting to try to make a waterfall over rocks and things like that. It takes a steady hand and a willing heart. And, uh, There's the email. Um, and the right brush. <laughs> I am not good at the right brush. That's the thing. Okay. Um, yeah, right now... Um, New beginnings with Booty and Cindy. She hasn't been posting any videos um, for a little while. She's going to start posting again after the first of the year. But she is thinking about entering my collapse. Um, yes, I did go and buy the beet powder. Thank Yay! You for recommendations. Good. Woo! It really helps your blood pressure. It is sweet, though, so be careful. And then, if you don't need a, if you don't need, if you really don't need something, like if you don't have a blood pressure issue, but you want to try something, Donnie got me this. No. She got me this beetroot gummies, beetroot gummies. Beetroot gummies. These taste good. They they taste like candy. <laughs> I don't have blood pressure issues. So not a problem. Oh, the pun you the pumpkin spice, it's gonna it's gonna start um, right away as soon as I can get my video out. I will start putting videos in the collab, but it's and it's going to last until um, last last until Thanksgiving because it's a it's a fall thing. It's not Halloween, so it's not Halloween videos. It's just um, anything have to do with fall and pumpkins and or decorations or or um, fall crafts, pumpkin crafts. Nothing spooky like. Like, I'm not going to share out Halloween stuff. I'm going to share out just fall stuff because it's my favorite season, fall. And I love fall oh, yes. and we desserts. Believe. I love fall temperatures. I love fall colors and fall decorations and stuff. And so I'm going to just keep adding videos. So if somebody has more than one video and they want to hashtag it and email it to me i'll just add another video and and whoever's in the collab doesn't have to give anything away i mean if somebody wants to give something away on their channel that's their free will um donnie and i will give something away at the end of it um but nobody else is required to give anything away and i thought this would be inclusive of people um Hmm. That I just saw something. I've I've had I've talked to people that um, have smaller channels and they were tight on their income, so they couldn't do one of those collabs where they had to give something away. So I thought this includes people and it can bring new viewers to your channel, um, and um, without having to spend money. You know, not everybody has the, the ability to give something away. So I thought this was inclusive of um, little channels, as long as it, it's something fun, fall, and uh, family friendly. Fun, fall, family friendly. I like that. Mm -hmm. Fun, fall, family friendly. Yeah. And like I said, it, you could like if you do one video and then a week later you have another video, just send it to me and I'll just add it in, you know. 
um, I'll, I'll put more than one video in. It doesn't have to be just one video. It just can, you might have a lot of videos of like fall stuff. Somebody might have a lot of videos uh, and they want to share them. And it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a, a brand new video either. You might have something fall on your channel that you did a year ago or two years ago. And, um, and it was just a really nice little fall thing that you shared. Just um, put, go in there and hashtag it <laughs> uh, pumpkin spice 22 and send me the link and I'll, and I'll add it in. It doesn't have to be a brand new video just in case somebody um, doesn't have the ability to get out a brand new video, but they've already got something on there. Yeah, you can share it out because uh, some of us would enjoy watching it. Oh, um, Cindy said, wish you guys were joining the uh, Jamboree again this year. Maybe you can come over and spend a day with us. It isn't a bad drive with this hurricane. We might be pulling the walls down on the pavilion. Yeah, we're praying for people in Florida. It's... Is, they're still saying um, a major hurricane, a three or a four. And it was supposed to hit Tampa Bay, but but we have a bunch of um, church friends down there that were praying it away from Tampa Bay. Because if it hit Tampa Bay um, as a significant size hurricane, I don't even think it would have to be a a three necessarily because there's a lot of there's a lot of low uh lying um homes there and the bay would catch the surge yeah the bay would catch it and stuff and see what happens is even if it downgraded this is the thing a lot of people don't know with the hurricanes because we lived in florida for over 20 years once the hurricane see is kind of large as it is right now and it's pushing all of this water and even if it downgraded to a two or a one guess what that only the wind is dying down that water that's been pushed is still moving and it has to go somewhere so it's still coming for that land and so that area of Tampa Bay, if it was to hit Tampa Bay, there would be so much, so many houses that would be lost from flooding. Yeah, man-made islands. Yeah, those were, man. yeah, a lot of man-made islands out there. And so, so th there's been a lot of church friends that really have been praying that away from Tampa Bay because... The whole thing is just, it would be probably blown away. <laughs> It'd be something, boy. And so at the moment, it did move. And, it's, it's, and, it, and it started to go like where they think right now the path might hit lower, you know, in Florida. Yeah, Venice. Don Barron said Venice is getting ready. Yeah. And we heard somebody posted a video where there were sirens going off. And uh, the, it was a mandatory evacuation all over the um, Tampa Bay area there um, where the islands are and stuff. Hey, Eddie. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. We've been praying for you. So what happened was um, this, um, there's the water coming in, water coming in, big lake, this is mountains, a little grassy knoll here, and this drops down here, and here's a waterfall, here's a waterfall. But all of a sudden, this looked kind of interesting, a little different, wasn't quite exactly what I was thinking it was supposed to be. And then I saw the, the, the water kind of turn the corner, and it's going to go down over here and behind these trees. 
See, so now we've got water down here behind these trees that's going uh, down the hill back, back, way back over here. See, like it's got a little, little creek, little creek running right back here. Is that something you're going to finish today, or you have to finish yep. it? Yep, I am pretty much done. I am. Um, yeah, C Cindy, what you would do is um, go into the description of your video and then put this hashtag, hashtag pumpkin spice 22, and, um, and then email it to me, and I can include it mm -hmm. in the um, playlist. I'm trying to make so if you don't have time to do a new video um if you already have a, a nice uh family friendly fall videos out there on your channel already it can get your channel um it can get your older videos new views you know That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm trying to make a a rock right here. I'm doing pretty good. And then kind of push it off this way. Hi, Lisa. Ah. You know what we need? We need a we need a little tiny kind of a drop off rock right there to make it look like okay, we got a we've got a little waterfall thing going <laughs> Lisa on. Lisa said better late than never. <laughs> She did the laughing emoji. Yep. Hit that like button. <laughs> Better late than never. She said it looks beautiful. Uh, you don't have to put it, you don't have to put the hashtag in the title. You can actually put it in the description. But if you want to put it in the title, you can. If you if you have room in your title, you can do it that way. Yep. We are just about finished here. We're trying to we're trying to make a, a waterfall here that falls away from us that we can't see. So you have to do something that makes it up to people's imagination that the water is going over the edge right there. Kind of like, you know, and I'm not doing a very good job of it. There, maybe that does it. Maybe that'll, because we're trying to do that, and we're trying to give ourselves a little rock, little rock ledge here. The rocky top, rocky top. No green, don't need green. Need the black, need the brown. And we need it to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now. So we've got green grass in the distance there. So here's my green grass in the distance. See it right there, blending it in a little bit. Two different colors back in there. We've got my little, my work on the, uh, <sighs> and then we need is some, some, um, maybe dark.
you know, part of knowing, part of doing this is, is knowing what brush to pick. Knowing the brush that's going to, to bring you the look that you want. And that's where I'm still learning. That's where I'm still learning. I've got... Uh, I want to... Vanilla Gorilla said looks good. Thank you. See, I want that to be a distant creek. I, I can't really make that a distant creek unless I've got grass that's up close that's like, you know, that makes sense. And I'm not able to figure that out. And... Uh, Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So now you can see that this water comes down, goes right here, turns, goes over a waterfall, down the hill, and then turns again and comes out here and goes down that way. Pretty cool. All right. So that, for me, makes me say done. And done for me and done for my little... You'll probably add more to it later, though. Well, I could do something over <laughs> here, but honestly, these rocks over here look pretty good, too. I don't know what, what you can do with them. Yeah, you email me the link to the, to the uh, video. There's the email right there. You know, this is this is pretty nice right here. Sauserhauser at msn.com. So that's good. That's good. That's good. You go to your video and then hit click on your video and hit share. Copy the. And we'll do what Bob Ross does. Copy the link to your video and then email it to me at nowtohouser at msn.com. Okay, so we're gonna do uh we're gonna do what Bobby does. Well Bob does. And we're gonna put a tree. What if we put a tree right here? <laughs> Let's put a big old tree right there. All right. A, a big old tree right there. And there. Look at that. And the paintbrush hits the floor. And a paintbrush hits the floor. And a paintbrush hits the floor. Smoky Mountain Man said a pretty little tree right there. A happy little tree, I think it's happy little yeah. tree. Yeah. Happy. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, happy little okay. accidents, right? Yep. Give him some roots. Here, give him a little root. A little bit of a root. Right there. And then he's got to have a branch. A branch. branch. I didn't say a smudge. I said a branch. Okay. Here comes a branch. 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 A little bit more. Well, they could be dead. but Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. Okay, there's a branch. This mixture of black and brown, I'm just kind of touching the brown and touching the black, letting them mix together on the brush. And uh, having that we were just in Oz, I, um, I keep think, waiting and think if I'm going to make one of these trees, trees talk. Hi, Jim Spencer. 
I didn't see you come in. I was probably looking at the painting. <laughs> yeah. I get my wife's attention while I'm painting, so I paint. Cindy said email is on its way. Yay. Okay. And there is our beautiful tree. Vanilla Gorilla said, throw a tree in there. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, an Apple Fest video would work, Cindy. Oh, boy. Anything fun fall. Anything fun fall. Not Halloween, just fall. Yes, that's spooky. All right. <sighs> I'm having a hard time finding brushes that actually do what they're supposed to do. They like my fan brush, you know. It's like look at that. It looks like a fork. How can I how can I do things with a fork? Smoky Mountain Moons, are you saying my apples are not what they should be? Apples as they appear. Um, yeah, so anything fall, uh, any fall festival, if you go out to eat and you try some, some new fall treat they have there for the season, you can you can um do a little recording of the uh, the fall treat. You can even taste test it. You can show some fall decorations, fall crafts. Yeah, which makes me reminded that I think people will enjoy watching those kinds of videos. And being as that everybody is from different areas, you know, you might have some some stuff going on in your area that isn't going on somewhere else, but maybe somebody watching would be interested. That's hmm. a uh, that's a quote from the apple tree in the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. Um, are you saying my apples are not what they should be? Yeah, that is from the movie. <laughs> hey. hey, that um, scarecrow was pretty smart for someone who did not think he had a brain, right? <laughs> yeah, tricking them into throwing the apples. Smoky Mountain Man said they have a uh, National Apple Harvest Festival. It's very nice. Largest in the country. Disappointed that I am not able to find. I'm actually eating an apple right now. <laughs> oh, didn't I get you a fruit? No. 
Um, oh, that's right. I didn't get you anything. I think it's a red delicious apple. Yeah, it is. Everything's up a dollar. Smoky Mountain Man said his favorite is Red Delicious. It's my favorite, too. You know, I've got a... A brighter green around here. There it is. Because I'm thinking like a green, gold, fall leaves with a little bit of red. Is that what everybody else is thinking? Like, if we're going to put some leaves on this tree, they need to be greeny gold. They need to be green, gold, not too green, more gold. <sighs> Wish I could remember everything that I've Red, heard. Red, orange, or gold, Smoky Mountain Man said. Mm-hmm. Not coming together like it's supposed to. I'm going to add a little bit of red. See if I can get like a maple. Like a maple. This brush is not cooperating. And that's all right. This can be a little darker because this is the back side of the tree anyway. So we'll put a few. We're going to put a few dark leaves in here. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking that. That's Smoky Mountain Man said he likes it when you added the tree, the leaves in. Yeah, it's looking. We're getting some fall leaves going here. We'll put some maple in there now. More gold. We've lost our gold. Maybe I should do um, a different type of orange. Ooh. Let's see what kind of leaves we get out of that. Ooh, I'm going to need more of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get up here and we'll get some we'll get some fall leaves and go in here.
Maybe we'll make this tree more gold and the other one more red. That's a good idea. That way we've got two different trees and We like it. Hey, Mikey. What time is it? Must be 9.30 by now. Mm -hmm. So, we've probably lost a few people to the other things they need to do. But that's all right. We're glad to have you when we have you. And maybe you came back and watched the replay. Because you wanted to see it finished. We appreciate everyone that watches our replays. Thank you. It's not all about subscribers. It's all about views. We want to be out and about. Helping you enjoy the Smokies with us. Mm -hmm. All right. Does that make sense? Not really. It's a little bit too rounded or something. Ah, I'm hitting something there. That looks a little bit more realistic now. That looks a little bit more realistic now. Um, Cindy said, oh, she sent me um, three videos, I think. She's fixing to call it a night and, ra and go to bed. She said that she enjoyed the time. Thank you, Cindy. Thank, Thank you, you, Cynthia. Thank you, all the sins that come and visit us. And we're, I'm just dancing this brush around, making, making silly th movements here. All the Cindy's. C I C Y and yep. um, S Y. There's a lot of different Cindy's. Yeah, pray for the people in Florida in the path of the hurricane. I, mean, I thought I'd put a few flowers at the bottom. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. See, and then you take um, take something dark, scratch through a dark thing, and then you just kind of scratch in a few, a few. Stems, see? Scratch in a few stems. Nice. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, my goodness. What? I had a piece of yellow paint go shooting up into my sky. Oh, well, time for a gale bird. Time for Gilbert. Oh, yeah, he's going to put a bird in there now. <laughs> Time for Gilbert. No. Pumpkin Spice 22. Yes, exactly. Did anybody see that? 
the painting dropped back into the groove of my easel just as I touched the white. So we just went from a bird to an eagle. <laughs> and there's his white head. And there is one wing and there is the other wing. What a dilly dill I did there. And of course, eagles, don't they have the white at the end of their wings, right? So we've got to have one, you know, little tiny wing things. I almost painted an eagle but ended up with a scarecrow. Okay. And of course, eagles have the, the tail feathers, don't they? Don't they have the white tail feathers? They do, mm -hmm. I think. So we're giving him uh, He's going way longer on this than he thought. Yeah, well. He was only going to go an hour, but he. I'll try to time it for an hour because well, we have people following us. Well, he was, if he would have done oils, he would have done an hour and then finished and then finished it up next week. But he decided to do acrylics today because he doesn't have anywhere to lay his oil painting. Ah. <laughs> oh. Um, Gail Southern Living said, looking beautiful, Donnie. Wonderful. I agree. Can't <laughs> say it myself, but I'll agree. It looks like a flying turtle with white, wheat, white feet. Uh, I will have to work on a eagle photograph and make that eagle fly so we will deal with that anyway i am uh, i'm going to initial this i'm i'm pretty quite happy i think we've done a great job here accomplished a wonderful thing gail gail left your video playing while she watched some tv with um her hubby taz uh she said you've done a lot since i left and came back <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what replays are for. That's what trees. replays are for. Trees. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a very good creation. All right. Maybe the, maybe this will be a prize for the for our fall collab. Gail, we're doing. Did you hear um, me talk about the fall? collab that we're doing. I'm doing the other collab too of the holiday blessing, but this one is um, pumpkin, hashtag pumpkin spice 22. And it's um, whoever wants to get involved. Um, it's a fall. It's a fall video, um, not Halloween. Wow. Not Halloween. Just ever, just email me. And at schnauzerhauser at msn.com and hashtag the video um, pumpkin spice 22. Hashtag pumpkin spice 22. And it can be anything having to do with fall. And um, it, um, it, can, it can have to do with pumpkins. It can have to do with decorations. It can, um, if somebody wants to taste test a, a fall treat, they can do that. Um, if they see beautiful fall decorations, if they're crafty and they want to make something uh, crafty for fall, um, uh, even if somebody's a crocheter and they want and they're crocheting those um, fall pumpkins that we've been seeing, that'll fit. Um, anything fall, not not Halloween, but anything 
fall decorations or fall treats or fall goodies or um, everything fall but fall down decorations or fall colors if you have your colors changing and you put your colors out and i'm the reason i'm doing this because my favorite holiday is christmas but my favorite season is fall and i love all the fall things and i noticed that some smaller youtuber channels weren't able to get in um any of the collaborations where it was a giveaway they didn't have the ability to give something um because their budget was tight so this way um the only ones that are that are um that will be giving at the end of this for sure is me and donnie me and donnie will give out something at the end of this but um nobody else is required to give all all they do is share their video they just share their video with me um email it to me and i can put it in a playlist called spunkin pumpkin spice 22 and it doesn't even have to be a current video if if like um like my friend um our friend uh cindy and booty she has a few fall videos um because right now she hasn't been putting out new videos but she has a few videos from previously and i told her go in and hashtag it pumpkin spice 22 and email it to me and i can put it in the playlist and it can get some views on a previous video that already had um fall because a lot of people are like me they absolutely love fall and so it can get new video new views on an older video as well if somebody doesn't have the time to put out a brand new video and it doesn't have to be one video either they can send me um more than one video and i'll just keep um rotating them and adding them into the playlist hmm. and then um it, that that way um oh. people you know family friend and then like i said family friendly it's got to be family friendly for me to share it um Gail said the Cozy Fall Soup 22 collab is free Amazon gift card prize, um, any chan any size channel. Yeah, so she's got a, um, uh, Gail has um, a Cozy Fall Soup. There's another collab out there called um, Soup Timber, and that was only with uh, specific channels. Gail's Southern Living um collab is um cozy fall slap um hashtag cozy fall soup 22 you can email her um all right gail i just put the wrench on you um drop your email in the um Drop your email here so that they can, um, if if they want to make a, a cozy fall soup, they can uh, email you. Drop your email in here. Um, her uh, Gail's is an open collab of um, a soup collab. So anyone can join her soup collab. Soup. And there's her email right there, um, Gail's Southern Living at yahoo.com. So if somebody's watching this in the replay and they want to make a soup and add it to her soup collab, um, hashtag Cozy Fall Soup 22. Hi, Lisa, the Grammy scattered. Did you hear um, Lisa the Grammy Scattered about the um, the two the two collabs here? Gail's collab for soup and um, and our collab for um, the mm -hmm. fall. It's called hashtag Pumpkin Spice Twenty Two. Okay, she said she just walked in. 
Okay. My collab is um, for Storyteller Donnie and myself. And um, so it's like, you know, um, you can subscribe to uh, both channels and we'll, we're both going to be doing this fall thing. Um, it's called Pumpkin Spice, hashtag Pumpkin Spice 22. And uh, there's the email. And you hashtag it pumpkin spice 22. If you already, if you already have an, um, a nice fall video, not a Halloween video, but just a nice fall video, it could be crafts. It could be decorations. It could be fall treats. Maybe you're a baker or you're a, um, candlestick maker. or you're, um, but you're a baker or a candlestick maker. <laughs> uh, you make, fall candies or fall um, bakery goods or something like that or you go out and taste test fall treats um, maybe you have a fall festival in your area or there's somewhere that has some beautiful fall decorations uh, any of those things qualify for pumpkin spice 22 and um, any 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 uh, family friendly video um, if you know, uh, can be shared, um, email it to me and, um, at the Snazzle House or the MSN.com hashtag the video in the description or in the title, either one, um, pumpkin spice 22. Um, it could be a video that somebody had out a year ago or two years ago or whatever that has nice fall things and it could get new views on the video if it's a nice fall thing yes you can hashtag uh gail your um pumpkin muffins too yeah and um like i said it it doesn't even have to be because my 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 friend um that was in here earlier she um doesn't have any current videos out right now um she's spending time with her grandchildren so she went ahead and i told her just go hashtag your um, videos that you had out from before from the fall just hashtag them and send them to me and then um and i'll add them to my playlist so a lot of people love fall so it can get new views to um new and old videos and it doesn't have to be one video only if you have multiple videos i will include all the uh, family friendly fall videos i'll just keep putting them in the playlist so that people can go from one to another and it's a way of um it's just our way of sharing out uh fun fall things somebody might be in your area and you might have something a fall festival in your area that somebody else doesn't um doesn't know about and maybe they they're local and they'll want to come see it or maybe they'll just want to see it and you're sharing it out i'm still working up to making a video lisa the grammy scattered said you don't have to show yourself on the video either you i mean if you look at my videos i have a lot of videos out there that i'm not on the video at all because i am um uh, Asperger syndrome, high functioning autistic. So I don't always want on the video. I don't always feel like putting myself out there. I do a lot of videos where I just show you what I'm doing or what, you know, what I'm looking at. And I don't put myself on the video. Gail said, I added your hashtag to my two videos. The videos are scheduled for next week. Okay. Today is Kenny Fordman, a.k.a. Kenneth Oaks' birthday. 
I put a video up today wishing him a happy birthday. So if you haven't seen it, um, you can go over there and uh, click on the video that I put out today and uh, wish Kenny a happy birthday. You know what, um, uh, Lisi, the Grammy scattered? Here's an idea of something you could put out for fall. If you have something local where they have some really cute fall decorations, you can go there and um, either take photos of it and put it in a, um, a slideshow video or you can take little video clips and add the little video clips together. And you don't even have to be talking on it. You can take all the sound off and add copyright free music on it and um, post it up there and then hashtag it and that'll work too. Because people will enjoy watching it. I enjoy watching videos like that. Sometimes I'm just as happy with uh, no talking <laughs> on videos because of the Asperger's thing. Sometimes I just want the peacefulness of just looking at something without extra words, you know. That's why I put out a lot of videos like that myself because I'm thinking if I like it, There'll be other people that enjoy it as well. You know, in 2020, there was, to me, there was too many, there was too many public voices out there. Um, in when 2020 happened, I started putting out a lot of videos that were just music um, or nature sounds. Yeah, Gail says, show your fall crochet items to music. Yeah, you don't even have to be talking. You can. And if you like, if you recorded yourself, um, if you're a crocheter and you recorded yourself crocheting something and you even speeded up the video um, and added music to it, that would be interesting to watch because it, it'd be going fast. <laughs> Donnie does that. We've got we've got some of Donnie's paintings where um, we speed when he's not on the live stream where we speed them up and then he we put them to music. Are you trying to? I don't know what you're doing now. I don't either. No idea, but I'm trying to put balance because the 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 things aren't aren't um, the right perspective. Not the right perspective. It's almost like you're making rocks. Yes, I'm making rock cliff now. I don't. I think the um, the uh, light makes doesn't show it as well as the eye but that waterfall looks different in person with your eye than it does on the video because of the the lights a little bit bright to show it um to show it how it looks with the eye <laughs> wonder if it would be Let's see. Oh, I hit the 
here that's the um minus the s the letter s that yeah letter s right, right there. there wonder if that one works better Gail said, I love speeding up videos. It looks cool. Uh, we have three dogs, Gail, and a cat. Um, two of them, two of the dogs and the cat are a rescue. We have one schnauzer that was our puppy from years ago. And then we had a rat terrier that showed up pregnant in our yard. Nobody claimed her. We gave the puppies away, but nobody wanted her, so she's still with us. <laughs> um, and then we have a, a husky that was a stray as well. Yeah, that's the husky that you hear. Yep, she's ready to go out. She's ready for her walk. You know, you're, you're going to have to start putting little churches in the background or something of these, like over there, like way back there somewhere, a little white church in there. <laughs> <laughs> Smoky Mountain Man would my love eagle that. Doesn't, my eagle looks like a turtle. <laughs> It does kind of <laughs> turtle flying in the air. Oh, turtle flying, so we gotta figure um, that out. Yeah, maybe a I'll do white, make the eagle a out little of oil. white, but not today. But I mean, you could put a little white church in there. Yeah, in the you know, if I had a little white church brush that would make a little white church, I would do it. But. Smoky Mountain Man would love that. Uh -huh. The vanilla gorilla said, "Looks really good." I'm going to bed. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Donnie's having a hard time quitting. <laughs> he does this. And sometimes he'll wake up the next day and finish it. It Just depends on what I more. see. Yeah, I have to see something. <laughs> it's not easy being me. Not easy at all. Oh, Jesus, help me. And then, of course, the colors that I mix, they dry. And that doesn't help me blend everything in. Okay. Well, you wouldn't want to put the church, if you do that later, you wouldn't want to put the church over there where your mountain peaks are. Maybe back in here, right in here, a little mm. church. It would be so small, though. And I have to build a road to it, have it make sense that it's there. No, look at the church. That's the um, When you see those pictures of the um, churches in the Smoky Mountains and mm -hmm. where it's back there and there's fall colors around it, no, there's no, you don't see a road to it because the road is underneath down the trees. Okay. Maybe it's a little steeple then. All right. Gail said, my sister started painting last year. She loves it. She's really good, but she doesn't know it yet. She doesn't know how good she is. Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. Maybe she could make you a um, 
maybe she could paint you something that you could for your channel, Gail, and then you can give it away as a as a prize giveaway. Hmm. Huh. That's a unique idea. Yeah. You could even um we should have thought of that. You could even supply her with the um the canvas and stuff like that, you know? Oh, yeah. And uh and ask her to just ask her if she'd be willing to paint something that you could do as a giveaway. Uh, Lisa, the Grammy Scattered, said, My great-grandma was a painter. She did um, tons of painting, and now they're spread out throughout the family. Um, that's a blessing, Lisa, the Grammy Scattered. They all said, Great idea, Joy. Yeah, supply her with uh, the paint. Um, some Maybe... Because here's the thing, when you're a painter, you do run out of certain colors of paint anyway. So you could always, um, you know, buy a canvas and uh, you wouldn't want the canvas to be too big though, Gail, because then it would cost more to ship it. But, um, you know. 1117 is fine. 11 by 16, right? 17. 11, 11 7. By, 11 by 17. Is that mm -hmm. what that is right that's there? That's a standard one, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what that what that is right there. It's a decent size uh, for a painting, but it doesn't cost too much to ship uh, if you need to ship it, like, like it would if you got a really big one. Yeah, except for the eagle, I'm done. That's it. <sighs> and I've got leftover paint. What am I going to do with it? Well, we're going to end this now. Yes, we have to end this now. Yeah. Okay, we have to end this. You're already two hours. I'm at two hours? You're over two hours. Oh, You've my goodness. Going and going. Anyway. I can't think of what I'm going to do with that, so I'm going to do with something else. Thank you. Thank you for, for being watching. here. Thank you for those yeah. watching the replay. And remember, we love you, but Jesus loves you more. Have a great and night. Have a good night.